Okay, so hello everyone. Today we are looking at structured essay question, which is worth 15 marks in your exam. And SRQ is actually in section B, okay, uh, in the essay question itself. All right, there's a question six as well as question seven. So question six is actually seven marks and question seven is eight marks. Okay, uh, both questions are compulsory. There are three extracts or three different um, short phrases or sorry, short paragraphs actually uh, that are provided. And um, extract one is actually a stimulus. Now, a stimulus is just to spark ideas. Okay, it's just to get you to remember certain things. Whereas extract two and three is actually a guide. It is for you. Uh, it is to help you um, in case you forget some of the examples. Of course, you cannot copy everything, but it is really about helping you um, and getting you to elaborate a little bit more. So this is the marking scheme for question six and we are looking at just explaining one strategy or one reason and that can give you as high as six to seven marks provided that you link properly. And for question seven, all right, you can see that you have to give two factors and you're supposed to explain the two factors to get you the higher marks. Now, there are many ways of answering um, essay question. Okay, some of you use peel, point, example, elaborate, and link. It is fine. All right, but for social studies, we want to make it a bit more easier for you. So we're looking at uh, the what, how, and why. When we talk about what, we're looking at suggestions. When we are looking at how, we're looking at examples. And when we are looking at why, it is really about how we link back to the question. So today we're going to have some um, time to sort of like unpack um, how does this what, how, why look when we write it out. So let's take a look at SRQ sample or example one. We are looking at Bedok Green paper. Okay, so when we look at the question paper itself, okay, the first thing that we're looking at is um, living in a diverse society is the topic. Okay, um, extract one itself, it can be a graph, it can be a cartoon, it can just be words. Okay, it is for question six, whereas for question three, um, or point three, actually, you look at extracts two and as well as extracts three. It comes from the content from the textbook, and specifically, it is for question seven. Now let's take a look at extract one. So you can see that this is actually a graph, and the number of um, Singapore permanent residence is actually very high. So you can take a look at the question. They're asking you, in your opinion, why is Singapore open to receiving more migrants? Why are we accepting a lot more migrants? Now, this is what we call a reason or a consequence kind of question, mostly reason. Okay. Now, have a frame in your mind. What is the meaning of reason? Okay what kind of reason and to make it easy for you to identify and to write during exams when you talk about reason and if you have really unpacked the question and you know there's reason think of it as economic reason political reason or social reason okay okay so let's take a look at the question now remember that you only have to give one reason Okay, you only have to give one reason. So let's take a look at how if let's say we use the economic reason. Okay, we are very open to having more migrants. Okay, it's because of our aging population. Okay, we talk about the declining birth rate. So you can use um, things from your social studies. Okay. Um, example that we have talked about in class all right now a declining birth rate means that there'll be more elderly singaporeans 
Alright, and when this happens, okay, um, that is the reason why we need definitely more immigrants coming into our country to actually help to do a lot of things, right? Okay, be it manpower or be it even in the health sector. So, why? Why does this example matter? Okay, now if we have an aging population, uh, Singapore will be less attractive for companies. Okay, so that is why we need to attract more migrants coming in. Okay, so that we are able to be economically competitive. Now, the meaning of economically competitive is that, you know, um, businesses will actually choose us versus other countries that have a younger um, working population. Alright, so what you do is take a piece of paper, write it out, okay? Um, always remember that when we talk about essay writing, there is the what, how, why. Do you need to write the what, how, why in the real exam? It is up to you, actually, it's fine. Um, it is good so that you can actually also guide yourself. Okay, always remember the what is always giving the reason. The how is this particular aging population. Give a concrete example. How does aging population happen? Okay, now the why is of course the link. If there was an aging population, what is the impact to Singaporeans such that we need to be open to receive more migrants? All right, so we're gonna look at question seven next. And question seven talks about positive and negative experiences living in a diverse society. Explain the positive and negative impact when we are living in a society that has so many people. So Extracts 2 really talks about um, the negative aspect where prejudice still exists. Extract 3 talks about um, the very fact that when we have a diverse range of culture, uh, foreigners would not feel out of place. Okay, so it's a positive aspect. So going back to the marking scheme, so you need to aim for at least a level three, all right? Even if you were to give one factor, you can see that it is always as high as seven marks already. Okay, so the idea is don't give up. Even for example, if you cannot remember um, the examples or, you know, um, or if you're very pressed for time, always try to aim for at least one factor. You would already get seven, seven out of eight marks or six out of eight marks. It's actually a very decent grade. All right, let's try to unpack paragraph one. And we are looking at the positive impact. And one positive impact is exchanged in uh, knowledge and skills. All right. Now, where do you get this um, information or how can you get examples? So always go back to the textbook or your set of notes. And the example is once you have um, these experiences of living in a diverse society, because we talk about how a lot of migrants coming into Singapore, right? Okay, and when they come to Singapore, they bring about certain talent and in the area of research and development, this particular example talks about how foreign scientists actually collaborate with Singaporeans and they managed to find uh, the H1N1 flu vaccine. Of course, this example was definitely a bit, um, uh, a bit older. All right, so if you can find examples that shows how positive um, impact, um, you can talk about maybe fusion of food, you can talk about maybe uh, there is more culture that Singaporeans are exposed to, um, all those examples are possible. But I'm using this because this is from the extracts itself. And what's the link? Why does having exchanges in knowledge and skills important for Singaporeans, okay? It is beneficial because sometimes, you know, it is not able to uh, be achieved when we just talk about, oh, Singaporeans itself. You need that foreign 
uh, dimension. You need someone who's knowledgeable from outside so that Singaporeans will be able to learn. And when, when, when we learn, we can then use it uh, for the future. So it's really about what's the added benefit when you have interaction um, with a lot of this um, foreign talent coming into Singapore. Okay, so what you do right now is take a piece of paper and you actually write it down. You unpack, you practice that writing part. Okay, because you must remember you need to write fast. Um, in exam, SRQ, the entire SRQ, we're talking about 30, 35 minutes only. All right, so next for question, we're still at question seven. We're looking at a paragraph two. So just now we talk about positive impact. Now we're going to look at the negative impact. So one negative impact is prejudice and misconception. We've talked about it a fair bit. And give an example of what is prejudice and misconception that has happened when we lived in a very diverse society. So an example is there could be conflicting views on values and beliefs. Okay, um, any example? Give a good example. So um, I was choosing just one example. We talked about a curry issue where an immigrant family was complaining about the smell of curry that was too overwhelming. Now, how does prejudice and misconception um, affect people, uh, affect Singapore itself? It can lead to a bigger conflict. It can lead to um, a very harmful relationship. All right. It can also lead to the disruption in the peace um, that local and migrants will always continue to view each other very suspiciously. All right. So having two paragraphs of this particular question will get you the highest level, which is eight marks. All right, let's take a look now at SRQ example two. All right, next we are looking at the 2019 Compassville paper. All right, always remember to look out for the issue which is living in a diverse society and this is specifically for question six, okay? Now look at the extract itself. If you look very carefully, uh, we are looking at the percentage of Singaporeans are very close friends from other race, okay? And you can see that this is just the breakdown of percentage. Now, in your opinion, how can interracial and interreligious understanding be enhanced? Now, the meaning of enhance is to improve it, okay? Come up with one strategy. Now, when you have a question that asks for strategies and solutions, unlike previously, they were looking for reasons, right? Now, how do you ensure that there are different kind of strategies and solution? You only need one strategy, okay? But I'm giving you a choice. So some of the strategies is using the circle of influence. Now, what is this circle of influence? Right. So a circle of influence is to look at things based on individual, based on community, based on government. Okay. So as an individual, what can you do? What are the strategies? Okay. How can you as an individual get your family to be involved? So that is also possible. Now, most of the time, a lot of students would always do the community aspect. Okay. When the question asks for strategy. Uh, you can use experiences from school, from CCA, uh, from your Values in Action program, your VIA. Uh, community also means that you know, what can the NGO, the non-government organization, what can the community centers or residential areas or corners actually do to solve the problem? Another strategy is to look at the perspective of the government. How can the government... Um, solve certain issues, okay? Uh, what can the government do? What can the government um, raise awareness? Um, or how actually can the government raise awareness uh, through the social media, through mass media? Or if it is a problem and I'm looking at solution, how can the government actually introduce a 
a certain law, a certain fine. This is what we call punishment. So there are a few possibilities when we look at it. When I say circle of influence, so the strategy can be an individual strategy, a community strategy, or a government strategy. So let's take a look at this. Okay, this is definitely uh, just one strategy, and I'm going to choose uh, community or schools. So what, what can be a strategy? Now, one way how interracial and religious understanding can be enhanced is through schools. So I've identified, I want to use the community uh, route. Okay, now how? An example is during the CCE lessons that are taught and discussed. All right, because why? You're able to see different perspective. Things like uh, the NE lessons, things like contemporary issue, correct? Okay. And why? Why does this matter? Because once I create an awareness, okay, I'm able to gain more knowledge. I'm able to understand the different custom practices and beliefs of other racial group. Remember, I'm answering the question. I'm talking about how can the understanding be better, be enhanced. And the knowledge gained will cultivate respect and tolerance towards certain racial groups despite some inconvenience. So again, I am using the what, how, and why frame. I'm looking at the community aspect. Okay, so again, write this answer down on a piece of paper. I think the whole idea today is for you to practice, for you to get very familiar in how we actually answer SRQ.